I don't know if you saw the watch steal in the video that, uh-huh. um, but he, I did. he, so the watch steal also heavily relies on confusion because he has, he has somebody hold two cards yeah. facing away. The faces are away from them. So they're just seeing the back of these cards. They're holding one card in each hand and then he grabs their, their wrists and starts shaking their their hands and and kind of I I don't even know how to really explain this trick because it confuses me too. To basically, an he's he's just basically he's pretending to do a card trick, but what he's actually doing is just finding an excuse to take the person's watch off. Right. So he gives them he gives them two cards and he says, "I'm going to make them switch. Give me a number ten through twenty. Let's say they say twelve. He shakes their hands twelve times." just very rapidly and that gives him enough <laughs> movement to uh take the watch off and then the cards don't switch at all even if the cards switch it's still be a shitty trick but it's just uh, it's just his excuse to be able to take the watch off which works perfectly and the crazy thing is i'm sure they don't even think back to that point like that oh definitely not yeah. when he's giving them their watch that suddenly has all of their focus and everything yeah. that, that happened leading up to that yeah, because sometimes erased. he'll delay giving the watch back too. Like sometimes he'll just put it in his pocket and then actually do a couple of tricks where cards might switch. Because he did it, he took a one of the cops' watches too and like had time to put it on his own wrist. And it it was clear he didn't immediately give the watch back. And I think that makes it even better. Hey guys, thank you for listening to this clip from the Flaming Melon Podcast. Like and subscribe and make sure to check out this episode in full on the Flaming Melon YouTube channel.